this presentation, I'll be discussing our 2293 automatic transformer winding analyzer, including its features and benefits and two new optional test modes we now offer. I'll cover a brief introduction, the device connection, and its five measurement functions, including winding resistance, turns ratio, demagnetization, automatic transformer detection, and cooling curve or heat run measurement. Finally, I'll cover who can use the 2293. The 2293 is an automatic winding analyzer that's optimized for three-phase power and distribution transformers. It includes a winding resistance measurement, core demagnetization, cooling curve resistance measurement, and the newly released optional turns ratio measurement and transformer type detection. Additional features include a one-time connection system, simultaneous winding magnetization method, touchscreen interface, cap changer control signal, multiple temperature channels, onboard printer, and data transfer via USB. The base scope of supply includes the 2293 measuring unit, a complete 10 meter length cable set, cable carrying bag, test certificate, and user manual. Optional accessories include the newly released turns ratio and transformer type detection add-on, as well as temperature probes for liquids and solids, a tap changer control cable, and 10 meter extension cables. Next is the device connection. The 2293 has a one-time connection system which means the user connects one clamp per bushing just one time and then can measure all phases and windings. This cuts down on the total test time when compared to the classical procedure of measuring winding resistance, which involves several reconnections. Color coding system is defined to ensure an easy and proper test setup. The 2293 can still be used as a traditional low resistance measuring bridge where one or two resistances can be measured using the Kelvin method. Next is the resistance measurement mode. When performing a winding resistance measurement, it's important to use enough current to saturate the transformer core to obtain stable readings, but not so high that the windings heat up and provide faulty readings. The ANSI standards state that the current used should be less than 15% of the transformer's nominal current, while the IEC states less than 10%. Low resistances are normally measured according to the Kelvin four-wire method, where two current leads and two voltage leads are used. A known current is introduced into the circuit, and the voltage drop is measured. On large inductive objects like transformers, complete core magnetization is needed to get a stable value. The 2293 utilizes our unique simultaneous winding magnetization method where current is applied to both windings of the transformer simultaneously. This speeds up the measuring time. For example, the 2293 is able to measure a Y neutral, Y neutral 672 MVA transformer with 24 taps in just under one hour. And a Y neutral delta 900 MVA transformer with 21 taps in just two hours and 40 minutes. During the resistance measurement mode, the user enters the high voltage and low voltage winding configurations, 
the phase shift between windings and the test circuits to be applied to each winding. Then the unit will display the live readings in red and final readings in purple once the test is complete. The user also has the option to enter information regarding tap changer, temperature, and much more. Next is a turns ratio measurement. The turns ratio of a transformer is defined as the number of turns on its secondary divided by the number of turns on its primary. The voltage ratio of an ideal transformer is directly related to the turns ratio. Unfortunately, however, real transformers act as a complex RLC circuit with losses that result in a voltage ratio that may not equal the physical turns ratio. In addition to turns ratio, the 2293 can measure voltage ratio, phase displacement, and excitation current. The 2293 implements an advanced compensated measuring mode where it performs several pre-checks to determine the transformer's real RLC properties. Then it compensates for these nonlinear properties to provide highly accurate results. By using this advanced mode, results equivalent to using 250 volt test voltage can be reached by using much lower and safer test voltages. During the turns ratio mode, the user enters information on the tap changer, nominal voltages, which taps will be tested, ratio deviation threshold, and much more. When the turns ratio measurement is complete, all data is displayed. Turns ratio, its deviation from nominal, as well as voltage ratio, phase displacement, and excitation current. Next is the demagnetization function. Residual magnetization means that the core of the transformer is left in a state where the magnetization is not clear. In a balanced state, the magnetization is zero when the current is zero. This may not be the case if the transformer is disconnected from the grid in the presence of high voltage or if DC current is applied as such during resistant measurement. The transformer should be demagnetized to prevent faulty measurements during following turns ratio or frequency response tests, and to avoid possible inrush currents when the transformer is reconnected to the grid. The 2293 measures the magnetic remnants and is able to demagnetize the core. Next is the automatic transformer detection mode. The automatic winding connection identification aids in the testing of transformers where the winding configuration is unknown. It acts as a nameplate guesser and detects the transformer configuration in vector group. At the start of the configuration detection, all configurations are possible, as shown in green. Next. The 2293 detects a phase shift and eliminates non-matching vector groups. Next, the 2293 detects whether neutrals are present on the high voltage or low voltage side. Next, the 2293 will display the most probable remaining possibilities. Next is the cooling curve measurement. During a heat run test, the 2293 will acquire the necessary data to draw the cooling curve and calculate the maximum temperature. The data is stored as a CSV file for easy export via USB. 
finally, is applications. This unit is optimized for three-phase transformers, so it's the ideal unit for power and distribution transformer manufacturers, as well as utility transformer maintenance crews and service companies. It can also be used by motor and generator manufacturers and repair shops. For additional information and a free quote, please contact Hayfley Hypotronics at one of our global locations.